Hello, everyone. Good morning. It is um, time for our 7 a.m. devotion and prayer time for this Monday. We are continuing through the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter 4 today, picking up in verse 18, um, where we have seen up to this point, Nebuchadnezzar has explained to Daniel what his dream was. And now Daniel is going to interpret this dream. Verse 18, Belteshazzar, that was the dream I, that I, King Nebuchadnezzar, had. Now tell me what it means, for none of the wise men of my kingdom can do so. But you can tell me, because the spirit of the holy gods is in you. Upon hearing this, Daniel, also known as Belteshazzar, was overcome for a time, frightened by the meaning of the dream. Then the king said to him, Belteshazzar, don't be alarmed by the dream and what it means. Belteshazzar replied, I wish the events foreshadowed in this dream would happen to your enemies, my lord, and not to you. The tree you saw was growing very tall and strong, reaching high into the heavens for all the world to see. It had fresh leaves and was loaded with fruit for all to eat. Wild animals lived in its shade and birds nested in its branches. That tree, your majesty, is you. For you have grown strong and great. Your greatness reaches up to heaven and your rule to the ends of the earth. Then you saw a messenger, a holy one, coming down from heaven and saying, cut down the tree and destroy it. But leave the stump and the roots in the ground bound with a band of iron and bronze surrounded by tender grass. Then let him let him be drenched with the dew of heaven. Let him live with the animals of the field for seven periods of time. This is what the dream means, your majesty, and what the Most High has declared will happen to my Lord, the King. You will be driven from human society and you will live in the fields with the wild animals. You will eat grass like a cow and you will be drenched with the dew of heaven. Seven periods of time will pass while you live this way until you learn that the Most High rules over the kingdoms of the world and gives them to anyone he chooses. But the stumps, the stump and roots of the tree were left in the ground. This means that you will receive back your kingdom again when you have learned that heaven rules. King Nebuchadnezzar, please accept my advice. Stop sinning and do what is right. Break from your wicked past and be merciful for the, to the poor. Perhaps then you will continue to prosper. So Daniel interprets the dream. I think it's pretty clear what, um, what the dream was, what the dream meant, that um, God was trying to get Nebuchadnezzar's attention. We talked yesterday at length in, in church about uh, this battle that's going on within each one of us between good and evil, uh, between Satan and, and Jesus. And we see that continue in Nebuchadnezzar's life. Um, he just goes from, from one period of time acknowledging who God is to building an idol to himself. And in this dream, Nebuchadnezzar is basically told, um, it's time for you to be taken down a notch. It's time for you to understand that, that you may be king of this um, Babylonian empire, but God is the king of the universe, and you need to submit to that. What does that mean for us? Well, I think verse 27 is key. When the Bible says, King Nebuchadnezzar, Daniel speaking to him, please accept my advice. Stop sinning and do what is right. Break from your wicked past and be merciful to the poor. Perhaps then you will continue to prosper. A couple of things that I want to point out. Um, number one, when there is something wrong in our lives as a follower of Christ, God is trying to get our attention. Don't be deceived by this. God does things and allows things in our lives for us to wake up and to say, oh, I get it, I get it. Let me 
confess my sin. Let me turn from my wicked ways and let me return to my savior, to God. Second thing is that in the name of Jesus and when and because of who we serve, folks, there is redemption. There is always redemption. Daniel says to Nebuchadnezzar that if he would stop sinning and do what is right, break from his wicked past and be merciful to the poor, perhaps you will continue to prosper. He is saying, Nebuchadnezzar, there is a way for you to avoid this um, calamity that is about to befall you. Repent. Turn to God. And you will be saved. So, folks, my question for us today is, how is God trying to get your attention? And when you figure that out, you figure out what you need to do. And then the question, second question is, will you do it? Will you do whatever it takes to repent, to turn from your ways, to seek God once again, to fall on your face before him? and to return to him. That's our challenge for today. Keep your ears open, keep your, keep your eyes open, and look for ways that God is trying to get your attention. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for another day and another day of life. We thank you for the gift of eternal life in Jesus Christ. Father, help us all to have our spiritual ears and our spiritual eyes open today as we look for ways that you're trying to get our attention and for ways that we need to turn from in our lives and repent and return to you. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, I trust and pray you will have a marvelous Monday. Until tomorrow, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. God bless you.